Good evening, everyone. This is Bremster, and welcome back to the Hamilton Sudoku series. We're getting close to the end of it. This is number 48, I think. There's going to be 51 in total, and there's three after this, so I'll let you do the math, because this is a puzzle, Sudoku puzzle channel, and math is something we should all be good at, right? Right? So, you sent the dogs after my scent by Alexander Hamilton. This is from We Know. Um, I've already done this speech once um, back when we did, I, I can't even remember the name of the puzzle, but we've done other puzzles based on We Know. It could have been what or something else. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, the, um, the, the one that starts with She Courted Me. Um, I, I've done that in a puzzle before and it's definitely a tongue twister that I've uh, spent a lot of time trying to do at least passably and I, I, yeah maybe um, but it is a really cool moment in the show when Hamilton is confronted by uh, Burr, Jefferson and Madison and um, basically it leads to everything starting to go wrong um it leads from this straight into hurricane and then into reynolds pamphlet and just the, a, a bit of a roller coaster um going on in hamilton's life it's, it's a very cool moment um what is this um is just a, a great beginning um so um but this is a killer sudoku with a single consecutive dot um do I have anything to go into? I'm, I'm getting close to the end of the series and it's kind of feeling a bit weird for this to be over. There will be other series. They'll be shorter, probably like only maybe five puzzles. I think five is a good number. Um, and we're picking, looking at different themes. Um, there, I don't think they'll anything be quite as large as this. There, I don't think we'll ever do the fully anonymous setter um, thing again. Who knows? But um, it depends on what happens. Um, but it's been interesting having puzzles come in and not know who created them. Um, and this isn't a guess the setter thing, but it's been really, uh, it, it's just been a very weird experience. And I, I just cannot thank all the people in, um, involved enough. Um, and if you've never been exposed to Hamilton, honestly, it is a beautiful thing to check out. But not everyone is into that sort of thing. And that's cool. Let's have a look at this puzzle, though. You sent the dogs after my scent by Alexander Hamilton. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row and in every column, the digits one, two, nine must be placed without repetition. Not just one, two and nine, but one, two, T-O, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, yeah, I, I've been saying that all the time. And for the first time, it got into my brain. It was like one, two, nine. No, not just those three digits, all of the, the single Digit, digit. Yeah, those. Um, digits in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage, and digits may not repeat within cages. Um, okay, so it would mean that I couldn't, for example, put two ones in here, even though they don't see each other by Sudoku, and then put 13 in those. That does not work. Um, and then cells separated by a white dot, which is those two cells, must be consecutive. Not all dots are necessarily given. Um, which is good because I think this puzzle would be broken without the not all dots are necessarily given. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. And oh boy, is there a lot of forced cages here. Um, so for example, a six cage, the minimum Sudoku digits are one, two, and three. So these must be one, two, and three. The max, because they sum to six, the maximum Sudoku digits are seven, eight, nine. Add them together and what do you get? 24. So these must be seven, eight, and nine. 23. Now, seven, eight, nine is 24. So in order to get down to 23 without repeating digits, I have to remove... Um, I have to subtract one from one of these digits. If I subtracted one from either the nine or the eight, I'd end up with a repeated digit. So I have to subtract it from the six and this becomes six, eight, nine. Similarly here, I've got to get to seven without repeating digits. Six is the minimum. So I have to add one to one of these digits. If I add a one, uh, one to the one or the two, I'd end up repeating digits. So I have to add the one to the three and this becomes one, two, and four. Now, uh, they're not jumping at 16. Well, the minimum I could put in five cells is 15 with one, two, three, four, five. Again, I need to add one to one of those digits. The only digit I can add to without repeating a digit is the five. So one, two, three, four, six is the only way to make 16. So these, and it might be easy to actually instead mark those, mark these as five, seven, eight, nine. Now, eight in three cells. Well, there's only two, way to, to, two ways to do eight in three cells. So you can do one, two, and then you need another five. So one, two, five, or 
one three and then you need another four so one three four so this is either one two with five or one with three four that hasn't helped me as much as i thought it might but there is a one in this cage there's no one in the 12 cage so i can't make this one and 11 just in case you were wondering This 22 cage has a couple of options though. Now th these cages are forced. So this is one, two, three, four, five. This is, so these are one, two, three, four, five. And these uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, because five, six, seven, eight, nine is the only way you can get to 35, the maximum digits. And one, two, three, four, five, the minimum digits gets you to 15. Now we know there's a one in this cage because two, three, and four, the minimum digits without one, sum to nine. So there's no one here. There's no one, well, that, yeah. but There's a geometry trick going on here, and I haven't seen it yet. Hmm. I am hoping to not use a particular trick. We'll see how we go. Now, the 22 cage must have a 9 in it, I think, because 8, 7, and 6 is only 21. So there is a nine in here, which means there's a nine up here somewhere, but that's okay. Like I could put a nine there and there because this is all, this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this is one, two, three, four, five. Well, there's no one here. Ah, oh, I've got pencil marks everywhere, but no concrete deductions. Not even bitumen deductions. I'm not, there's a geometry going on with this puzzle and I don't understand it. There's no nine here. But nine could be there. Yep. If this is a nine, no, if these are nines, yeah, I can't put nine in either of those. Right, right, right. If I put nine in either of those, that forces nine up here because this there must be a nine in this cage. If I put a nine here, this isn't a nine and there's a nine here. And then where do I put nine in this box? Basically, there's no nine here. So there is a nine in here and there's a nine in here. So I can't put nine in any of those. Nine is in one of those three. So the way to think about this, is I can't put nine in any of those cells and I can't put nine in any of those cells. So nine is down here. So nine was not here. Now, surely I can repeat that trick somehow. I can't put Nine, I can't put nine in any of those cells. So nine is in here and in here. So nine is not there. Nine is in one of those two cells. I can't put eight in here either. Right, I can't put eight in here either. Actually, it's the same here, isn't it? Where's eight? Eight in this box has to be in one of these and it's up here. So there's no eight in those either. And here, eight is down here, and eight is down here. So I can't put eight in those, and I can't put eight in those. So eight is here. And I could do the same with six. I can't put six in an eight cage because it'd have to be six, one, one. So six is in here and in here. So or in here. So I can't put six in there, and I can't put six in there. So six... This is 689. This is absolutely 689. 
So there's no six here. This is five, seven, which is the five, seven in the cage. So I take five, seven out. Of, whoops, I did that wrong. I take five and seven out of there and I take five and seven out of there. Five comes out of all of those and goes into one of those two, which takes five out of those, which puts five in one of those two, which takes five out of those, which puts five in one of those two, which makes that the seven and that the five. Now, there's no five in this 22 cage now. Does that do anything? So, nine... Once I've got nine in it, the other two digits sum to 13. Is that correct? Yes. So eight, five doesn't work. Seven, six, and then I get, yeah, so this is six, seven, nine. So there's no six or nine there. That's the eight. This is a six, nine. Well, the six, seven, nine means that's the eight, which means there's no eight there. This is a six, nine pair. Those are the same digit. Four is down here because of the one, two, three, four quadruple. So there's no four in those. This is six, eight or nine for the column. There's no seven there. Oh, this eight makes that nine. So this is seven, eight. That, that nine makes that six and that nine. The six looked down making that nine and there's no nine in either of those. This is damn cool. Now this eight Still could be almost anything, couldn't it? Well, it can't have a seven in it. So seven is down here and seven is in one of those two. Now, can I repeat this trick? So I've got to put six, seven, eight and nine in here. Well, nine is now in one of those two because I can't put it there. But nine is in one of those two. So that's not the nine. This is the nine, which means nine is in one of those two. This is five, six, seven, eight. So five and six are down here. There's something weird going on. There's something very weird going on. I can't put six in a 12 cage. Six in a 12 cage means that the other digit is a six. I can't put six in the eight cage. I can't put six in any of those. Six is in one of those two. Six in this cage, though, is known because the six, seven, nine means it's not in those. That six means it's not in those, and that's a seven, eight pair. That's a six. So this is not a six. This, These are one, two, three, and four because I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are one, two, three, and four. I am over pencil marking like mad, except I'm not, because the one, two, three means that's the four. There's no four in any of those. This is a one, two, three, triple. That's a four, that's a five. There's no four here, and there's no four or five here. This is a one, two, or a three. The five looks down, making that the one. This is not one. And if this was two, three, this would be a six cage. So this is now a three, four cage. There's no three here. This is the two. This is the 
This is 789. Is that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are 789. This entire triple is 789 for the column. So I can take 7 out of there. That becomes the 6. That becomes the 5. There's no 5 or 6 there. There's no 6 there either. So this has to be the 6 because the, the way that I... I can't put 6 in the 12 cage. There's no 3 here. And I've broken the puzzle. Damn. No, wait a, No, I haven't. That's the two. So what's left? I've got to put a five in here. So this is five, seven to get to 12. And this is the eight. That looks through here, taking eight out of those. Now, I hadn't broken the puzzle. I just thought I'd broken the puzzle. Eight now has to be in one of these because of a five, seven, eight triple. So I can take eight out of those. I could have just used that eight. One day I'll start doing things the easy way. The one takes one out of there. We all know I'm not going to start doing things the easy way. The five, seven looks like making that eight and that seven. This is really cool. The four looks down taking four out of there. So we know the four is in here. The two looks down making that the one. This is actually a two, four pair. The one looks up making this three and one. One, two. This is a three. Which means that's not a three. There's no six here. The seven, nine makes that an eight. And I take eight out of those. So this is six and nine. The six looks up making that eight. There's no nine here. Now this can't be one, nine. It could be two, eight. Could be three, seven. So this is only two, eight or three, seven. So five is in one of those two. Okay, this is tricky. Five in this row has to be in one of those two cells because it can't be in any of those. Those for the box, those because I can't put it in a 10 cage and those because they're not. In this row, five is in one of those two because I need to put a five in this cage and I can't put it in any of those. So these are the fives in these two rows. But I need to put, if I put the five here, then the five in this row can't go there and it must go there. And if I put the five there, the five in this row can't go there and it must go there. Either way, I cannot put a five in any of these cells. This is an X-wing. I can't put a five in any of these cells without breaking this. If I was to put a five here, then these couldn't be fives. And the only places I'd have to put five in these rows are in those two cells and I put two rows in the column. So I cannot put five in any of the green cells. So those stop being five, but more importantly, I can't put a five in that eight cage. So it can't be one, two, five. This is one, three, four, which means this is a two and I can take two out of all of those. This is one, three, four. This is not a three. This is the five. So this is the five. There's no five here. And that's done with the X-wing. But the X-wing is a cool trick if you can figure out how to use it. So these are known. These are two and seven. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, those are two and seven. So this is a one, a three, or a four, and it's a one or a three because it sees a four because that's what's left in the box. And that means that there's a two up here. This is not a two, which I could have gotten from that two. Four is down here, but I've already got that. I know what these three cells are. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And there's no six there. Two is in those. It's got to be this 16 cage, doesn't it? I have to put an eight or a nine into that cage. If I put a nine into the cage, because I can't hide, can't put an eight or a nine in any of those, so and I can't hide them both there. Mm. 
If I put a nine into the cage, the other cells sum to seven. I could use one six. I couldn't use two five and I couldn't use three four. So if there's a nine in the cage, it's one six nine. If I put an eight in the cage, the other cells would have to sum to eight. I could use one seven. I couldn't, or I could use two six. I couldn't use three five. Hang on, there is a six in this cage. There's a six in this cage. So the other two digits have to sum to 10. So there's six with one nine or two eight. So this has to be an eight or a nine because I can't put both in there. And I can't put a seven in this cage. Because if I put a seven in this cage, I'd need a three. So where is seven in this row? That's the seven, that's the two, which means that's four and that's two. The two means this is not two, eight, this is three, seven, which means that's nine, that's seven, that's eight, that's nine, and this is no longer one, nine, this is two, six, eight. The three looks back making this one and four and three and one. This is one, two, three, Four. I think I did that a roundabout way, but I got there. This is not the eight, by the way. I mean, I'm assuming I got there correctly. Four is in this cage, because this is one, two, three, four, six, and it's not in that middle bit. So four is in one of those two, which means that's the three and that's the four. Four is not there. It's also not three because of that. So that is the one, and those are not one. Now, one is in this cage, and it's not there or there. So that's the one. It's four looks back, making that three and that four. Three is in this cage, and it can't be in any of those cells. So that's the three. These are now known. These are 2, 4, and 6. And that is not a 4. 1 and 3 looks up, like meaning that is a 2. So that is a 6. This is a 2, 4 pair. The 6 takes the 6 out of there. This is a 5, 7 pair. I can stick a 6 in there. This one looks up, taking one out of both of those. That is a two, three pair, and I get my one. I could have used that three. There are multiple ways of doing it. I don't think I missed it. I think I was just doing other stuff. This two looks over, making this three and this two. The three and the two look back, making this a one, which I could have got from that cage. As I said, I don't think I missed it. I think I was just doing other stuff. Now, these are now known. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a three and a four here, so this is the five. The f now there's a six here, so that's not a six. This three looks down, making that seven and that three. The seven looks up, making that nine, and I can take nine out of both of those. This three looks up, making that four and that three. The four looks down, making that two and that four. This two looks down, saying that is not two. There'll be something here. This column, there's only one digit not placed. There's a six and a two, so this is the eight, which makes this six and this two. The six looks up making that seven and six. That takes seven out of both of those. Now this is five, eight, nine, but I've only got two empty cells. So this nine makes that the five, which makes that the eight, which makes that the seven, which makes that the nine. The seven looks across making that the five and that the seven. The seven looks across making that the five and that the seven. <laughs> you sent the dogs after my scent. That's fine. I never spent a scent that wasn't mine. Um, that's really cool. That was very fun. That was a really nice killer as well. I was a bit worried for a bit there. I would have to use a particular set theory trick that many of us are aware of, um, or possibly even an exploded version of that in this ring. Um, but it turns out I didn't need to. So that was cool. That was a lot of fun. 
I've been blessed with both the contacts I've made through the show, the friends I've made with the show, both in cast and crew and the audience, and the people in the puzzling community who have come together to do this stuff for me um, and with me to a degree. Like, I, I, these puzzles have just appeared in my inbox, but um, the, 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 <sighs> I don't know who set individual puzzles, but I kind of have ideas who's been involved with the project. Although occasionally someone I'll hear a name mentioned um, and I don't know if they're a tester or a setter or anything, and I'm not really hunting that information out. Um, but there's someone I've like never dealt with before. And it's like the fact that there are setters out there, I'm pretty certain who've come together to be involved in this and, and help with this project. And I don't know who they are. I've never dealt with them at all. It's just, it, it's such a wonderful thing. And I look at the solve count and there's like, there must be something like 30,000 puzzle solves on these Hamilton Sudoku series puzzles with all of the people who've come to it to and solved them. Because there's like 50 puzzles and most of them have got close to a thousand solves. Some of them have got over a thousand solves. And you think about that. That's just... It's a huge amount of time and thank you to everyone involved and I hope you're enjoying the series and it just blows my mind. Only a few days left and then we'll have to move on to other things. Thank you everyone for watching. I, I hope you're having as much fun as I am and as always, good luck with your solving.